Hello and welcome to Thai Fly Cast. Today's fly is the GR Leech, named after Ontario's Grand River. The hook of choice is an R74 or 9672 Mustad hook, which is 2x heavy and 4x long. For a size 6 hook, begin by putting a 532nd bead or cone of choice onto the shank. Continue to add weight to the fly using lead wire. Use 25 thou with 7 to 8 turns behind the bead and 15 thou with 9 to 10 wraps in front. Secure the wire to the shank with thread in two separate sections, one at the front and one at the back. Do not cross the bead with the thread. Tie in a sparse amount of marabou and flash behind the wire and fill in the gap to make an even underbody. Using a dubbing loop tool, create a noodle that consists of purple and diamond dub holographic dubbing blend. Wrap this forward in touching turns to fill the gap between the tail and the bead. Catch the sin and whip finish behind the bead as you would finish any other fly. Then comb out the dubbing to remove the loose ends. Reattach the thread in front of the bead and tie in a piece of medium pink chenille and a soft hackle feather. Wrap the chenille forward so that it completely covers the lead wire. Then put two turns of thread over to lock it in place. Do not trim the tag end. Then wrap the saddle hackle forward in almost touching turns up into that tie off point. Try to use the entire feather. Tie off the hackle here, then bring the thread forward to the eye of the hook and continue to wrap the chenille forward. Tie off the chenille, whip finish, and the fly is complete. Maybe you're thinking why not just use an egg sucking leech pattern for this. Uh, let's talk about some of the differences between the two. Weight distribution is a major difference with that bead being moved back to the middle of the fly and the weight being closer to the back. The fly is going to ride more level when swung through very slow moving deep pools. The profile of this fly is also greatly different than the woolly bugger or egg sucking leech. The when wet profile is far more tapered. These seemingly subtle features can make a big difference to the way the fish perceive the fly. Yet the fly is just as simple to tie. Fishing pressure can get quite high on the limited open water of the Great Lakes tributaries during the winter season. Having something that's just that little bit different might be the difference of getting you a fish. Good luck with your winter steelhead season, and happy tying. As always, thanks for watching.